So the video got a little long in the last one. So back to the fontanelles. Um, if they're bulging, that might indicate intracranial pressure, infection, or hemorrhage. Um, whereas if they're like distressed, that might indicate dehydration. And then I'm going to palpate for the sutures, making sure that they are palpable. Um, it's normal if they're separated or a little overlapping. Um, and that's because of that head compression that happens during delivery. Um, and then also with the head, you want to assess for caput um, succedaneum, which is that localized swelling on the head. And that's also from the pressure during delivery. And then the cephalohematoma, which is the collection of blood that might occur. And that doesn't cross the suture line, but that can also be from the um, from trauma during the delivery. And so then with the eyes, you want to make sure that they are symmetrical. <clears throat> Symmetrical and equal in size, and they are. And so then you'll check pupillary light reflex. That looks good. They constricted. Okay. And then <clears throat> Archie, come here. <laughs> and then you want to um, check the ears and make sure that the. Um, Cartilage is firm. If it wasn't firm, that would might indicate prematurity. The pinna of the ear should be in line with the eye. If it's a little bit lower, that might be indicating um, an abnormality like Down syndrome. Um, and then newborns should hear um, voices and sounds and respond to them. And so then we will assess the nose. And with the nose, you want to make sure that it's midline. Um, you want to make sure that there's no obstruction in the nose, um, as that, cause, um, Archie, come here. <clears throat> Archie. Um, newborns are nose breathers, and so you want to make sure that there's not an obstruction in their nose. And then with the, um, mouth, you want to make sure that the tongue and the gums are nice and pink. Good job. And then that if you see any um, Epstein pearls inside, those are those little white cysts that you might see that is normal. So educating the parents on that, um, they will go away. Um, if you see like a bluish gray patch area in the mouth that uh, may be indicating thrush and that is an abnormal finding and that um, is a fungal infection. So. Just assessing for different signs like that. Um, and then after the mouth, we'll do the neck, which should be like short and thick. It should be freely moving from side to side. Um, if there's absence of head control, that might indicate that um, the newborn is premature or that they have Down syndrome. Um, and then after the neck, <clears throat> is the chest and so with the chest you want to assess make sure it's barrel shaped nipples are symmetrical um, <clears throat> and then also um, there's no retractions or things like that clavicles are intact and then with the abdomen you want to make sure you're assessing the umbilical cord it should not be um, it should not have an odor um, and you want to make sure the abdomen is round and that it's not distended or anything like that. And then ball sounds as well, you should be assessing. Um, they should be present 15 to 20 minutes after birth, so I can listen to those. Those all sound good. So after that, we'll assess the genital area. Um, newborns should pass meconium um, within 24 to 48 hours after birth. Um, Archie is a male, and so he should have rugae on the scrotum, and um, the urinary meatus should be located. Um, the testes are present, and so that all looks normal. Um, 
And then for newborns, they should be passing urine within 24 hours of birth. And so then after the genitals, we'll assess the extremities, making sure there's full range of motion in all extremities. Um, and it's normal for them to flex and curl up and that all looks normal. Um, you want to make sure you're checking that there's no um, hip click or anything like that. And it is normal for newborns to have bow legged and flat feet because their medial muscles aren't as developed as the lateral muscles. Um, and so the extremities look good there. Um, the gluteal folds are symmetrical, which is normal, and nail beds should be pink. You can assess capillary refill. Um, other than that, you could assess the spine, making sure it's nice and straight and midline. And this newborn looks very healthy.